Hey, what's up, you guys? It's uh, Spyderco64 back here again with another Na with a NASCAR diecast review. And what I got for you guys today, and that is Ryan Newman's Granger Granger Chevrolet Camaro ZL1. So this is a so yeah. Um, just got this car and um and uh. Well, it, I was spectacle. I was spectacle on getting this car, but you know what? Screw it. I'll just may as well get it. Considering one, um, I actually do like the Granger car. The Granger car looks pretty cool looking, in my opinion. Plus, I mean, well, you know me. I hate Ryan Newman, but um, I mean, yeah, well, whatever. Anyways, let's take a look at the uh, magnet right here. It has a picture of the car right there, you know, without the Monster Energy logos at all. This car is available in 124 scale as well, I believe. But anyways, yeah, I mean, this, I mean, I mean, yeah, this car just, it looks good. I mean, it, I mean, I think it looks better on the Chevy Camaro body than it does than on the Chevy SS body. I mean, it looks a bit, I mean, look at that. It looks, looks more meaner. Which I want that, you know. I mean, you know, you know. Plus, when I'm in my Camaro, the car it has to look mean. Has to look, it has to be black and mean looking, you know? Because I think that's really what Chevrolet was really wanting to go for. I mean, they didn't want to go for like a like I don't like. I'm glad they didn't choose like a street car, like a like a normal street car, like passenger car. You know, and they went with the Camaro, even though, even though you know. Um, they have, even though, um, you know, even though, like, uh, Chevrolet hasn't won that many races this year, they've only won one race, and that's the Daytona 500, what, Austin Dillon, but, yeah, but, God, I just wish, I mean, I mean, hopefully a Chevy can win this weekend at, um, Pocono, but I highly doubt it, I highly doubt, doubt it. Doubt it. And there's dogs barking in the background. I don't know why. I think it's because those chicks were running earlier. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, um, it's nighttime for me. It's probably late for you guys in the East Coast. But, anyways, let's just get into this car. So, nothing on the banner. Got Granger for the ones. We get it done. Same thing as usual. You know, there's the Caramaro front nose. On the side, you have... Almost the exact same thing, except this pillar right here on the 2017 version. It's this one's it's red, but this one it's black. So that's the only thing you're just gonna change. Wow, RCR. You got Liberty National P, and and then also you got the Liberty National logo right there. Granger. I would prefer if they would have if if they would have put out the Bass Pro Shops car, Cabalas, and the uh, Liberty National car. And then that's Carthenics. Maybe we'll get it. And also, um, talk. And also, the Lionel episode, um, episode of the fix. Yeah, that was very. Uh, that was. It was a very pointless episode. I want to find. I want to find about NASCAR Carthenics Wave Six because Lionel, that wave has supposedly has been leaked. You have to say that's for real. And also, guys, I'm also gonna tell you something else. But I'm planning on making a Kurt Busch. I'm planning on doing a Kurt Busch, um, not review, but just a, but just, I just noticed, oh, it's shiny, it's shiny, shiny, money, all right, anyways, anyways, uh, anyways, never mind, um, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, what's, I mean, I mean, seriously, Lionel, the thing you can show for the fix and that is, oh, we went to, to Thor Sport, to Thor Sport Racing or their headquarters or something like that, or something like that. Talk about NASCAR Authentics Wave for Six because supposedly it's been leaked, and also I'm planning on taking the Kurt Busch car I have, the Haas car, turning it into the Monster Energy car because I'm planning on, because I'm planning on making the, because I'm planning on um. Because I'm planning on making that car because I absolutely like the Monster Energy car. And 
since you guys won't put it out into the gold series because Monster Energy treat it, treats their own product as male body parts, then, then whatever. Also, Kurt Bush, Kurt Bush's Haas car is supposedly going to be releasing that. Now, now I'm going to get that. If it is, I'm going to get that car because my car is on the PTC mold. But anyways, here is Ryan Newman's. So, anyways, here's a comparison. This is this year's car and this is last year's car. Um, I have not seen this car run in real life. He didn't run. Ryan Newman didn't run it at California. He ran like a Chevy dealer. Sort of. Sort of, um thing or whatever but yeah you can see exact same thing now why did I buy it well because one this is on the Chevy Camaro body and I like the Camaros and I'm planning to get really more but not much are released yet I think more will be released I think like the newest one possibly could be William Byron's Unifirst car and maybe AJ Allmendinger's Kroger car those are the cars I'm excited for when they come out, I think more cars are gonna come out next month. I'm not so sure. If, I'm not so sure. If you guys know, tell me. But yeah. Anyways, um, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, leave a like and comment down below. What do you think of this car? Do you have it or do you got the Bass Pro Shops Cabalis? Because I would only buy that car if it's in an ex if it's in a, if it's an Xfinity car and also Daniel Hemrick. Because Daniel Hamrick is the only driver I like at RCR. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.